Rabbi Sharim. The, <coughs> the sefer the, <coughs> that he wrote, the Misladi Sharim, is a very basic. So it's a very basic and classic work that Agon Gra says that every Jew, the very first uh, 11th Perak, has to know it. And it's uh, no extra word. As you know, Gra, he was very medayek, he was every word was, would count for him uh, enormous chashivut. Uh, and he says about Mesela Disharim that till Perek uh, Shilishi, he has no extra word in it. So let's want to focus on very first sentence that our Mesela Disharim says. Yesod ha-chasidut v'shoresh ha-avodah t'mimah sh'itbarer v'itamet that the Yesod Hasidut, the foundation of the Hasidut, which is the highest madriga, the highest level that a person could reach, and Shoresh Avodat Mima, and the source, and the foundation, and the beginning of the Avodat Mima is Shait Barer, Amet, that it should be clear and it should be emmet. Why did he come to this world? So, and he answers, and the answer is a person came to this world, that's the purpose, and he goes on to explain. So the very first sentence is that the foundation and the source that you are going to build up a yesod is a foundation that the person builds up under 2,500 floors on it. That the yesod should be strong enough to hold whatever you build on. The shorish, what is that? Very simply understanding the sentence that the Rav Misladi Sharim says, the source of everything, the yesod is, why did he come to this world? If we pay attention, what he is saying? Yesod, a hasidut v'shoresh avodat ima sheit barer veitamed. I think the focus is on these two words: sheit barer veitamed. It should be clear, and it should be emmet to you. Why a person comes to this world is something very simple that he himself said in the beginning. I'm not going to make any. Uh, no information, I'm not going to give it to you. That's, it's something known, Hazal, all over, that the purpose to come to this world is not this world, is Olam Abba. But what Arav Mr. Shanim here is telling us, it's not only enough to know it, but it's it barer veitamet. This subject, it should be clear for you, and it should be emmet for you. There is no other way of understanding anything else besides this. It's sheker, it's nothing, it's a lie. It should be very clear for you. It barer, wait emmet. Why? Because any time that we have a doubt about anything, we don't rely on it. The uh, word bitachon, bitachon means a person trusts Hashem, as a bitachon la Hashem. The word bitachon, betach, is something solid, there is no doubt about it. A bitachon of a person is only is a bitachon, when that bitachon there is no doubt, no suffix, is a stone, not breakable. I'm not saying any no information. But do we realize it? Do we live by it? A lot of times, 
a person, he himself doesn't know, but the suffix that he has, the doubt that he has, that creates questions and therefore is not so strong to choose the way that he chooses to live. If it's it barerveitamet, if it's clear like a daylight, barur kahama, it's so clear, just like the the sun is shining. If it's that's clear, and we do realize it, and we do live by it, is a tot we are a totally different person. A lot of things we know Hashem Echad, but do we, it is borrowed for us. It's like uh, I put, uh, when you do an Aveira, it's as if you put your hand in a fire. Is that clear for you or not? We know it, oh, we know it. But is it borrowed? This is a key to everything. This is a key to Yiddishkeit. The, the, the key, the very first step that every Jew should be a borrower, the it amit. This is the only, and this is clear for me. I'm no suffolk. And one of the areas that here we're studying Parshat Lech Lecha, the Parsha that start telling us our role models, our Takedashim. That they are our role models, and we put them, whether the action they did, the thought, this is what we want to follow. So, how borrowed it is for us. If a person has a topic about his role model, if you are my role model, I have a Doubt, is he okay? Is he a hundred percent? Maybe not, maybe yes. You never learn from him. If he tells you something, maybe he told me because his own agenda. If it is borrowed for you, if it's borrowed for us, if it's clear for us, the Avata Kedoshim, the real Kedoshim, then we learn from them. But if you, want, if you would think about their life, their actions, their thought, what they did, uh, like Ourself, okay, he made a mistake too. Well, Abraham was an old man, he was a normal person like us. Do we learn from him? We won't learn. Our Solomon says that, the, in Pirkavot says that, Kane lecha chaver, ase lecha rav, vedan kol adam lekev sechut. Our Solomon says, why these three put together? Ase lecha rav, you have to have a chavruta to learn. You should have a rav. You should uh, judge everybody favorably. What's the connection this third? You should have a chavruta. Okay, you have a rav. What the third part has to do with the first two? And it says, the only way that you could make a person your Rav, Aselacha Rav, if you done the Kavzachut, if you believe in him, he tells you the Emmet. If you have a suffix, if you have a doubt about him, yeah, sometimes whatever is good for you, you listen, but sometimes not. Oh, he says it because of that reason. You won't learn. That's the only way to make us a kharaf. That's the only way to connect a khakhar. Dan kol adam le kapsahot. So, you're starting the avota kedushin. Imauta kedushin. The parshat lech lechav. He's starting it. There are many things that they did. Maybe, I mean, how we do look at their life and their actions. In this week's parasha, Lech Lecha, it says one of the issues is when there was a, between Sarah and Agar, there was a sikhsukh, there was a kind of a, a fight, so to speak, that uh, Sarah, the pasuk says, Vatanea, he made her suffer. She ran away. 
What, what does it mean? The Pasuk says, the Pasuk says, Sarah Imenu made her suffer. What did she do? Are we are here to judge Sarah Imenu? Like what we understand from the word that Tanea, he made her suffer. Did Sarah Imenu made Agar to go carry stones? What's a Tanea? Made him suffer. By Yetziad Misraim, it says, uh, what they did. Is that what Sarah did to Agar that she ran away? If you look at Sarah Imenu, say, Tanya, that's how we call uh, suffering, that's what we imagine, that's what she did. You know, Sarah, like us, we judge her. We forget for a second who we are talking about. Sarah Imenu, the mother of the old Bnei Israel. She was the wife of Avram, pillar of a chesed. We forget about that. And we translate Tanya, made her suffer. Is that possible the Sarah Yemenu would make her suffer? What does it mean? Before we go to that, they bring a, a, a mice. Uh, At uh, Rabchaim Itzans. Once he was talking with one of the, his uh, friends, we are not allowed to call him a friend, Agon Akadosh, they say, Baal Atteret Yushua. Shalein Gedole Ador, two Gedole Ador. They were talking to each other like your friends. The Rabchaim, he tells his friend, he was talking to him as a friend, you know, I, my beard became white and I still wasn't able to do to show what I did in my young age. And Rabbi Tereshua, he saw that, you know, one of the Rabbanim over there sits, he makes such a face as if he's saying, okay, if this God of Lador is, uh, is a challenge for him. He did something in his young uh, ages and still is ha having a hard time to do Teshua and he didn't still, uh, his Teshua is not comforted. Oh, so we are okay. We are fine. When he saw him thinking like that, he read in his face that what he's thinking, he pulled him over and he screamed at him. Garbo. Do you know what Rab Chaim meant when he said, ah, I still, I'm old and I still couldn't do Teshua on what I did on my young age? Do you know what does it mean? You know Rab Chaim, when he stands to daven tefillah, in his tefillah, from the beginning till end, he's focusing every word, the kavanot, is going to the depth of the meaning of the Dot Shimon Ezra is he's standing in front of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. One time he was distracted because he remember that one of the words of Rambam is not like what the Gemara says in the middle of Shimon Ezra. So he was distracted. What is the answer? How could the Rambam would say such a thing? Gemara doesn't say that. He was thinking in the middle of Shemona Israel how to answer up this Rambam. And he came up to say, oh, I'm standing in front of Hashem. How could I think about Rambam and Gemara? Until the old age of his life, he was trying to do Teshuva for that moment, for that one time that he, he really distracted by this Rambam and and you sitting here, what do you think when he says, I cannot do Teshuva? You judge Rab Chaim the way that you are? You are thinking when he says a head? You translate that head the way that you're doing the head? You come maybe, oh, a person sitting there that this uh, Gadol Ador says, I did some mistake. Oh, what is a mistake? I did a mistake too. What is my mistake? My mistake is, oh, I looked at Hasbe Shalom in a uh, non-Sinutic picture. Or I the Mukhsen Shabbat. 
I will probably also he did it. Huh? How you translate? How do you think about the Gadolador? Tirei Chaim, Arab Chaim sons, the Kadosh of Tor. But to compare him is a Achron. To compare him to the Rishonim. To compare him to the Amoraim. To compare him to earlier generation, Tanaim. To compare him to earlier than that, Nevim. And to compare him to Abata Kadoshim. Where? How we judge? This word that says Vatanea, he suffered Agar. He made suffer, uh, Agar suffer. She made Agar suffer. What does it mean? Do we judge her the way that we are translating what the Inui means from Saraymenu? Okay, let's see. Go, uh, let's look at this word Inui. What does it mean? Where else we find in Chazal? Or even in the Torah itself. In Yom HaKippurim, the Torah says, Ta'anot nafshatechem. Make yourself suffer. What does it mean? Don't eat. And this, uh, some they say, they used to take on Yom Kippur, they take a stone on their shoulder and go up the mountain. Is that what the Inui means? Yeah, they, these people, they thought that, uh, <laughs> they, they translate Torah, that they, they, they understand the Torah. But the Torah didn't mean that. The Torah didn't mean make yourself suffer to take stone on your shoulder, go up the mountain. This is suffering. No. Don't eat. Don't take shower. For 24 hours, don't take shower. We are very stunning. So, okay, every day we take shower, but 24 hours not taking shower is the. It's a inu. The Mechilta says, Maise by Rabban Shon Gamliel. When Asara Rugei Malchut, there was a Gizor and Rabban Shem that he should be, they should take his life. In a very bad manner, they take his life. At that moment, the Mechilta says, there was a discussion between Rabban Shem Gamliel and Rashmael Kohen Kohen Gadol. Rabban Shem says that, what did I do that I deserve such as, uh, make me suffer? What did I do? <coughs> Abishmael Kohen Gadol tells him, maybe, maybe sometimes somebody came in the middle of the meal and he wanted to ask you a question and you made him wait for you till your uh, meal finished and then you, uh, you answered him and it says in the Torah, Lota Anu, don't make people suffer. Maybe that's the cause. You are being killed in such a bad manner. Avon Shangil thinks about him. Oh, Nechamtani, Beni Nechamtani. Oh, you comfort me. I remember what I did. What did he do? He says, yes. One time a lady came to ask me a question and I was tying my shoes. I tell her to wait till I might tie my shoes and in the middle of tying my shoes, wait for me till I finish it. I answered you. And I asked him, she was waiting for me for how many seconds? Oh, Micham Tani Rabbi Micham. Now I know why I'm being punished like that. I made Inui. It's an Inui. Make her wait for me. Wow. How we could understand this and he gets such a punishment where are we and where they are that's called the Inui in their language in their life in their level we are. how many times we make other people wait for us come late not five minutes, ten minutes, half an hour, don't come. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't come. You go to wait waiting room of every doctor as a waiting room. <laughs> it's a suffering room, Hazal would call it. <laughs> how, how we deal with this? Now we could judge them? 
We could judge the Rishanim. What they mean, I made, I did a head. How we, we judge them? Ah, it says in the Torah, Tana Sarah. Oh, Sarah, you may know. He made Agar suffer. Oh, oh who you're talking about? Most probably, I tell you. Rashi says, what was the sikhsukh? What was the discussion between Sarah and Agar? Agar was a shikha. He was a maid. Not a maid that we're talking about. A maid which was a Kenyan goof, which means the, uh, like an avid Kanani, a shivcha. That's what she was. And Sarah Imenu makes her to be the wife of the house. Come, get married with this shivcha, tells Abraham Avinu. Such a chesed is doing to her. Being a shivcha now is the main wife of the wife of the house. So they get married. She becomes pregnant. And Rashi says, once she got married, ooh, she changed her face. What happened? She was going around and tell everybody, oh, everybody thinks Sarah is a sadeket. The wife of everybody would know who Abraham was. Is the wife of Abraham, who is a ticket. Akdosh Baruch Hu knows who is she. She was, she was with Abraham for many years. Akdosh Baruch Hu didn't give her a child. I was the first time I had a child. She's not a sadeket. That's what Rashi tells us. That's what she was talking. That was the atmosphere of the house. She was so proud of herself. She is now the tzaddiket of the house. She is really the one deserve to be the wife of Avram, not Sarah. That's the situation. So now, the Torah says Vatanya made her suffer. What does it mean made her suffer? Maybe one time Agar told Sarah, please clean up the table. And Sarah, you're the shivcha. Now you're telling me you hiked Kamil shivcha. And she waited two seconds, and then she did it. This is called a Tanya Sarah in the Russian of Hazar. And she ran away because of that. Huh? Is that what it means? Could be. If we are talking about the Sarah Imenu, that brings this shivcha, make her as a co-wife, as a tzara. And she talks like that to Sarah. And says, which means to say she couldn't handle the case. She was from uh, uh, where she came to became uh, the real. Now, the point is how we look at our Avot Kedushim. How we look at Imaot, how we look at the Tanaim, and how we look at the Rishonim. Are we are strong enough that they are our role models, and when we see something they do wrong, this God of Lador did something, said something, how we judge them the way that we act, the way that we, we would do things? In Persian, say, Kafar Hamera Bekisha Hot A person judge every, uh, uh, everybody like the way that he is. Are they, are they are our friends? Are they are in our level? The way that we act, we see them the same way? Is that what, when we are talking about them? About the Gedolim? About the Avot? About the Imad? Is the, that's what, how we should think about them? Or totally different picture. If we do really believe, it barely it met, that how gathering what level they were, all their action has different thing. We try to understand why Yaakov Avinu, uh, 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 how did he live with Lavan? 
how he reacted to say, oh, Yaakov, you know, also was, uh, he lived for seven years. For Rachel was very beautiful. Uh, Yaakov, you know, he loved her, so he... That's how we look at it, or we try to l take a lesson from our model, role models of the Takedashim. To totally different. They say a story. Uh, he was one of the Gedolim, whoever uh, they say, whoever that is suffering house, the house is not going to burn. They would try to get hold of the Sefer and put it in their house. Only at the Sefer, not to learn from it. You know, for either a person who learns and understands what he says. They say one time on Rosh Hashanah, he was going for the Tashlech. As you know, our Minag is, on the first day of Rosh Hashanah, in the afternoon, we go by a river, we say the Pasuk, Tashlech Vimsulat Ayam, and we shake our jacket. It resembles that we throw all of our Averot. We have a new year, we're going to start all the past, all the Averot, mistakes that we did, we just shake it and it goes to the river and goes. So he, he was going for a tashlech, and he was with, um, it says by Lashon Azar, one of the Gedolim. They were going there. So he go, go <coughs> by the river, and then Arav Noam Elimelech starts shaking his jacket, and this by Lashon Azar, he bends over. Arav Noam Elimelech says, why are you bending over? What are you doing? Did you lose something there? He says, no, nah, I'm picking up your Averot. So, what? Picking up my Averot? He says, yes, your Averot is a mitzvah for me. <laughs> you, when you want a daven, uh, if you miss one word in your davening, all your kavana is a kavana tal of uh, Arizal, Rashash, you are from, if you miss one word and you don't have right kavana, it's considered such a great Averot, you have Agman Nefesh, and you, you try to get rid of it. That if I, if I be able to write a simple meaning of the thing, and it's a blessing for me. Who we are talking about? No, I'm an imelech. Go on, the kadosh. But if we want to, we are not, we are afar tachat raglen. We compare it to the avot ha'kadoshim. If Noam in in such a madriga, who are the Abba Takedoshim? Who is Avram Avinu? Who is? How we think about him? True, the Torah says they made a mistake. What is that mistake? If the mistake that we think is a mistake? They cannot be a role model if they think that way. That's why a lot of times we don't want to learn from them. But if really we know who are they, there are mistakes, we have to learn what is the mistake was, how, how we should deal with it, and we learn from it. If, how we think about Gedolei uh, Ador, they say a sentence, oh, he doesn't know anything about politics. <laughs> well, who is he? I know better. I listen to a uh, few uh, show talk, I know better than him. When they say something, uh, who are they? When they say something, there is a kolatrakula in their mind to say one sentence. If we really don't look at our gedolim, they are like a stone, kadosh, no doubt about it. If they say a sentence, doesn't make sense for us. We try to understand what it is, to follow it. Not to ignore it, and to say, no, it's old-fashioned from last generation. They don't know the politics. They didn't listen enough to radio, uh, radio uh, shows. There are, it amet, our emun and bitachon, these two, our role models, the real role models that we have, gedolim that we have, 
every word that they say, every action, it, 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 that very first is that we should work on ourselves. To believe that they are God of the Kaddush. Therefore, we don't ignore in the sentence that when the, a sentence says in the Gemara, how important is like Torah for us? It barer veitamet dar saying what dar saying dar gadol v'kadosh. They said sometime one time uh, somebody came to visit Chidush the Rebbe from the Gur, one of the great Rabbani. Visit him, you see his face is not. Khushari asks him, everything fine? Say, yes, well, Hashem, but I'm occupied with this thought. Every time that we go to this, uh, through the Sefer Bamidbar and we see the Bene Israel, how did they complain? They, this Avera after Avera, this complaint, that complaint is mind bothering. We are talking about the door, the ah. The generation that they went through so many miracles every day came month for them. Moshe Rabbeinu Berosham, they were such a guide for them, such a leader. Moshe Rabbeinu, they went Avera after Avera, complain and this and how we are to understand this? It's mind bothering. The Shalim tells him, you compare them like you. When the Torah says they complain, you see, you think in, they are in your madriga, it's mind-bothering for you. The Torah Tenu HaKedusha writes their Avera, that our mitzvah doesn't write Torah, which means our biggest, biggest mitzvah that we do is wasn't good enough to be written in the Torah, but their Avera was good enough to be written in the Torah. Their Avera is bigger than our mitzvah. How you talk about Dorda? I'm not talking about Moshe Rabbeinu. That generation even. The problem is that we judge everybody the way that we are. If a person is a Russia, thinks everybody is a Russia. If a person is a Sadiq, thinks everybody is Sadiq like himself. Not above him. We forget for a second we are dealing with the Gedolim through your static. And your mistakes are not the same thing that Hazal meant when they said the Avram Avinu, or even our Gedolim, they made a mistake. Don't judge them the way that you judge yourself. And if one of the reasons that a lot of times when the, we hear a, a Hazal, or something, we don't relate to it mm, yeah, no, because we don't know who is saying it. Because, oh, he's not Torah, the Rabbanim, they made it for them. So, you know, that's a Rabbanim. Are we aware of who we are talking about? How is their words, means, is like Torah? The Gedolim, the Gedolei Ador. The, this topic that we have to their words has a, a great influence in our action. Because of that topic, we are not trying to say, How, when I could be like them. Like who? Those people that have a topic, they made a mistake like me? The way that I judge them? It's so important that when we go through this Sefer Yesharim, Sefer Avot, from Lech Lecha, to try to understand from their mistakes, even. And not to put their mistakes, okay, like me, I made a mistake. To really understand that, and to really face it, and to learn from it. And the only way to learn from it, to see really where, what level they were. The level of their mistake is where, where can, where, when can I get to a madrega that my mistake is like their mistake? How can I lift myself up? This is considered a mistake by Ta'ana. This is considered a mistake from Sarah Imenu, Ba'alata Chesed. This is considered a mistake that made Agar wait for a few seconds. When can I get to that Madriga? Shem, that when we go through this all 
the life story of the, our Gedolim. When we understand this little thing considered a mistake, it should be uplifting for us. It should be uplifting that, oh, if they, that called a mistake, where am I? And it should be uplifting for us to get the chizuk from the, their life and their action and their thought. Oh,